Exercise 1. In this exercise, we'll update the commission worksheet using only our keyboard. Please note this video demonstrates my preferred shortcuts, but the book presents alternatives that could be used to perform the same tasks. The overall goal is to find shortcuts that are easy to remember and use so you can keep your hands on your keyboard. First, let's use the subtotal function to sum up the sales data. To navigate, we'll use our arrow and control key shortcuts equals s u b t and tab to insert the subtotal function nine comma and use the arrow and control keys to jump to the top of the sum range arrow control and shift to extend the selection to the end of the range shift and arrow down once more to include the skinny row close the parens and enter now let's wrap the round function around the existing commission formula Navigate to the cell with the arrow and control key shortcuts. F2 to edit, home to jump to the beginning of the formula text, and then right arrow over one character. R, O, U, and tab to insert the round function. End to jump to the end of the formula text. Comma, zero, close paren, and enter. Now, Let's use the F9 key to check the formula. F2 to edit, and use the control, shift, and arrow keys to select the first function argument. Now, F9 to immediately evaluate the selected formula text. Hey, looks good. Hit escape to prevent this change from being permanent. And F2 just to confirm, looks good. Exercise two. In this exercise, We'll jump to A1. From anywhere in the worksheet, Control plus Home jumps to A1. <laughs> Easy enough. Exercise 3. In this exercise, we'll update the worksheet with our keyboard only. First up, deleting the extra rows. Using Control, Arrow, and Shift keys, let's navigate to and select cells in the rows we want to delete. Now. We'll select the rows for these cells with the Shift Space shortcut. Then Alt ED to delete. Next, we need to set up a skinny row. Arrow and Control down to the total row. Alt I R to insert a new row. Alt O R E brings up the row height dialog box. We'll use a row height of 4 and then hit Enter. So far, so good. Next, let's update the formula to include the skinny row. Navigate to the formula cell and F2 to edit. It looks like the range currently includes row 21, but we need to update that reference to include the skinny row, row 22. We simply delete the 1 and type a 2 and hit enter. F2 to double check and looks good. Exercise 4. In this exercise, we'll add the Q4 column. We use the arrow keys to navigate to any cell in the skinny column. Then Alt I C to insert a new column. Navigate to the column header cell and enter Q4. We'll fill the Q3 formulas to the Q4 column. We use the control shift and arrow keys to select the Q3 formulas. Shift and right arrow extends the selection to the right. Alt E I R to fill right and got it. F2 to double check the formulas and we look good. Now, if you're up for it, please use these shortcuts as you complete the remaining exercise workbooks. They are sure to improve your speed. This video is a production of Click Consulting.